welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome. My name is Meg and today I'm going to be doing a unboxing, first impression review of Javia's Place X Fumi Collection. video because I got my first PR package today. This may not be a big deal to a lot of you, but to me, it is something that is really special. I know is consumers and people that follow other influencers, we see them opening up their PR all the time and we're just kind of like immune to it at this point probably. But for me, it is something that I'm really excited about because it means that a brand saw me and liked me enough to want to send products for me to test out to see how I feel about it. So I am super appreciative. So thank you so much to Juvia's Place for noticing me and sending me something from your brand. I am so excited to get into this. I will show you guys the unboxing right after this clip, but first let's get into the product. So this is an entire collection. I just have the eyeshadow palette from the collection. It looks like there is also two glosses, like a peachy nude that looks really beautiful, and then also a deeper plum color gloss that looks really beautiful. But today we are just gonna be focusing on the eyeshadow palette because that is what came in my package. I am so excited. I've heard so much about this brand over the years. I think I first heard about them from Nikki Tutorials because she was all about their eyeshadow. I also know from other people that have purchased it, they really enjoy this. So I'm super appreciative to have this. But let's get some information about the collection. The eyeshadow palette retails for $15, which isn't bad at all for six eyeshadows. You guys just saw the pants on this were pretty, pretty large. So you're definitely getting your money's worth for 15 bucks. Each lip gloss retails for $10, and there is a makeup bag, which I also got. You guys will see that in just a second. That retails for $16. The collection is live as of today, July 31st, for purchase. So I'm sure while this video goes up, it will have been live for a couple of days. So be sure to check it out. This is the Queen palette. In today's video, I am going to show you how I got this eye look, so you're going to see firsthand how these eyeshadows perform and my final thoughts on the palette. So let's roll into that footage. Okay, so before we jump into the eyeshadow, I want to do an unboxing because this is the very first PR package for beauty that I have received with my career on YouTube, and I am so, so, so excited that a brand likes me enough to send me product. So this is what the box looks like. Juvia's Place, Fumi X Juvia's. I love the whole like Queen of Hearts concept. Super cute. I also love the minimal um, packaging for this because I know PR kits can be quite excessive. So I think that this is really great. And here we have a makeup case, just absolutely stunning. I mean, the makeup on this, beautiful. All right, inside the big box, we have this beauty bag, and it is a pretty hefty beauty bag, perfect for traveling. And let's see what is inside. So it looks like it is an eyeshadow palette. Again, the packaging on this is simplistic, but also stunning. I mean, those highlights, so beautiful. On the back, it says that this is a collaborative effort with lifestyle blogger and model Fumi, an eccentric take on Queen of Hearts card game mixed with Fumi's love for colors. Palette features six high pigments that are multifunctional, and they have a list of ingredients on the back. So let's see what the palette looks like. I love when packaging comes like this, like the our outer carton fits for bubble wrap. To ensure that your stuff doesn't get broken hopefully and here is the palette it's the same packaging that was on the carton and it is just stunning and if you do store your palettes a certain way you can still see what palette this is and this is what it looks like Take the plastic out, zoom you in so you can see. So you definitely have that signature red that is from the cards and I'm excited about the pink, the purple, and honestly, the shimmers look really pretty and this transition shade looks super, super nice. So 
So I'm gonna see what I can come up with today for this. And then also up here, again, you have a little Queen of Hearts card and it is just so freaking cute. All right, my brushes, they are clean, dirty, so that means that no pigment is gonna come off, but they're just dirty, because I need to do a deep clean, okay? I already know. This fan is turned off because it's annoying, and I can't believe I left it on for that long. So, for my eye base, I already have the Anastasia eye primer on. I don't set it, I just leave it as is. Um, it's not like super wet or super tacky, so it kind of, dries down on its own. I have a whole video comparing this to the P. Louise base. If you're interested, it'll be linked up above. So what I'm going to do is take Sister to Sister, which is this beautiful transition shade, and I'm going to go ahead and pop this into my crease. I'm so excited. I've heard nothing but good things about the formula. There's like hardly any kick up as I swirled the brush around. So that's very nice. I love this color. It has like a bit of a rosy hue to it. So it's stunning. I'm just doing my typical shape here. So I'm keeping things pretty rounded. I try to lift the color up and not drag it down so much in the inner part of my eye. So I focus a lot of the color here on the outer edge. And then when I get here, I do very light pressure and just fill it in. So this space is a little bit blank and not as covered. Cause we're gonna cover that up with shimmer anyway. This went on easily. It's not patchy, seems to be blending nicely. One thing that I'm gonna do really fast that's not in the palette is just take a matte white. So I'm just grabbing this from my Alyssa Edwards palette and I'm just gonna pack that on to my brow bone quickly and then re-blend the transition shade up to the brow bone. So I'm basically just using this shadow to set this area. I could just leave it and set it with shimmer, but I've just been in the habit lately of laying down a cream or a white and then going in and leaving it matte or going in with a shimmer after. So now that we can blend this up, it's also gonna help our transition shade blend out a little bit more seamlessly and kind of get that smoked out effect by laying down the other shadow. So the transition shade isn't sticking and gripping to the primer that's down, it's gonna blend right into that white shadow. There we go, that is stunning. I'm like obsessed with this transition shade. It looks a little bit washed out on camera probably because of the lights, but in person it is just like this beautiful like rose color, it is so gorgeous. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of a smaller brush and I'm going to start building up the crease with the Olay. And I'm also gonna touch the purple because I just want to use, honestly, all the colors that are in here to see what we can create. So I'm just going to go in pretty light with this red and just use it to deepen. Okay, I'm glad it's not like red red and it's kind of coming off like a little bit of a red rose color. Now I'm just going to go back in with a fluffy brush and blend that out. And if you're looking for a more wearable look, you could just use these two colors and have a beautiful, more neutral look. But if you know me and you know my channel, you know we like to play with color on here. Just gonna clean this off really fast. I just use one of these to clean my brushes in between using them. That's why they're clean and dirty. And now to deepen things up, we are going to go in with this beautiful purple color. I'm so excited to use it. Um, in case you were just wondering the difference in purples. So the purple, that is a shade Believe, it almost looks blue on camera. Um, the purple in the Alyssa palette is a lot more brighter in neon, while this a purple in this palette is a little bit more of a true purple, dare I say a little bit with a touch of plum in it. So let's see how this applies. Gonna use this as a faux liner just to get some color on my lash line. 
this purple looks like it's definitely going to be buildable. So if you're a little bit nervous with color, this looks like this could be a good palette for you to get you used to color. Whereas the Alyssa palette I just showed you is like intense, like wham, bam, thank you, man kind of color. You don't really need to build it up. It's just kind of there and wiling out. I don't really notice any patchiness either. I know purples can be tricky and a lot of people complain with pur purples going patchy when you start to blend them. But I don't really see that with this. It has been a hot minute since I cut my crease, but I haven't used this P. Louise base for crease cutting purposes yet, so that's why I chose to do that today. Um, in case you are still out there cutting their crease, a good tip is to take your finger and just pat out the edges so you don't get harsh lines. And then you can also go back in with shadow too. So you can take a little more purple and start to blend it up into that area. All right, I am so excited to swatch these shimmers. Oh my gosh, the bronze one is stunning in real life. And then this more lighter champagne one looks gorgeous on camera. So I kind of want to play with both, but I don't see the bronze like working with this eye look. So today I am just going to be putting FDV approved all over the blank space, but glam is so beautiful. I bet this would also make a really pretty highlight too. First, I'm gonna apply with this brush and see how it works and then go in with my finger. Beautiful. And again, I'm just gonna start fading this into the purple area, go back in with the brush I was using and work on blending that in together. So we have a nice fade. Okay, go in with the finger on this eye. Honestly, most of the time I will sit here and say shimmers apply best with your finger and I am getting a lot of pigmentation for not that much product, but the brush did a really good job of packing it on too. So I'm sure it's a combo of the formulation of this and then also the base that I'm using because it's nice and tacky. I'm now going to go ahead and hit my brow bone with that shimmer too because it is too pretty not to. I already have highlight on, but you know what? We're also going to hit it on the cheekbone to see. Stunning. I thought my highlight was pretty lit before, but I'm impressed. All right, lower lash line, we are going full on in with seven, which is this hot pink. I'm so excited to use it. I'll probably use a little bit of sister to sister to blend that out. And then we'll probably hit the inner corner with FDV approved again. And there's fallout. Normally, I do my eyes first and face last, but that's what I get for jumping ahead today. Pray that this just goes right off. Okay, it did. It didn't stay. Okay, good. <laughs> I will say that this shade has the most kickback in the palette, but everything else has been nice and tame, so I was getting a little too comfortable there. Now I'm just gonna go back into that transition shade, the first color we use, and just hit that lightly around the bottom edge. This is just gonna help blend it out a little bit, and then it's also gonna help tie the bottom into the top. And this actually looks really pretty layered too. And then I always connect lower lash line to crease. All right, so here is the aftermath of the palette. Like I said, there is really no fallout or kickback at all. If anything, seven is the messiest shade in this palette, so just be a little careful with that. No issues with anything else. 
I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eyes and the rest of my makeup and be back to give you my final thought. Alrighty, we are back and I have the look finished up. So what do you guys think? I'm pretty impressed with this palette. Really fast just to finish up the eye look. All I did was take like a charcoaly gray eyeliner. I put that in my lower lash line, blended it out, took a little bit of liquid liner, added it to the upper lash line, popped on some Ardell Wispy Lashes called it a day. I am so impressed with the eyeshadow. Honestly, like the shimmer is so gorgeous. Like I can't stop looking at it in my monitor. It is just truly stunning. I am so impressed with the formula. The rosy transition shade is probably my favorite color in this entire palette. The other colors worked really great, blended out really nice. The only color we didn't really get to was the bronzy shimmer, but I did a swatch for you guys. So let me know, what do you think about this eyeshadow palette? What do you think about the collection? Is it something you would pick up? And if you've tried this brand before, let me know your favorite products in the comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe on your way out. And also check out my other videos right here. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.